We've been demanding answers of Mayor de Blasio this week. CBS 2 political reporter Marsha Kramer stood her ground at City Hall in Puerto Rico and then back at City Hall today for a marathon press conference with the mayor. He took questions from all on all topics. A dramatic change of pace, but will it become the norm? CBS 2's Marsha Kramer outside City Hall. Marsha, what did you find out? Well, Dana, there were an awful lot of questions for Mayor de Blasio about why he often limits his questions that he takes to pre-approved topics. But when I got my opportunity to talk to him, I asked him about questions that our viewers write into us about. Marsha. Mr. Mayor, um, you cite statistics that life is improving in the city. What people tell us and what polls tell us is that the opposite is true about crime and homelessness. So I want to know what you say to constituents such as Debbie Ruiz, Cisco Rendon, and others who have written to this about this, about the disparity. Well, uh, you know, there's 8.5 million people in this city, and I think each one of them has a different opinion. And I'm not going to ever say because a few people say one thing, that's, uh, that is the final word. And I don't think polls are ever the final word. What followed was the mayor's insistence that the city is safe and that homelessness is a problem that will require new strategies to fix. He did not say what those new strategies would be. On our social media pages and our Facebook pages, we are really inundated with people asking these questions. So do you think that there is a disparity between the New York that you see and the New York that some other people see and that's why they raise the No, I do not think that. I, I have been uh, living here since 1979. I saw the bad old days. And I would urge you all to be very uh, straightforward in the way you interpret this to people. If you were here in those times, if you saw what Times Square looked like, if you saw what the subways looked like with the graffiti and no air conditioning and everything else, if you saw and knew the people who were leaving the city were never to come back, companies leaving, uh, it is night and day. Yes, Anna. The mayor answered 27 questions for reporters, a marathon for a man whose press secretary, Karen Hinton, bragged she always cuts it off at half that number. But despite what happened at City Hall today, the mayor made it really clear he's now going to try to get his message to the people in what he called an unfiltered way. But that means he's going to try to do more town halls and more radio appearances. Reporting live from City Hall, I'm Marcia Kramer, CBS 2 News. Thank you, Marcia.